Well, three days later and still no answers for the partial roof collapse at Cummings K through 8th optional school on Monday. Right now, students are attending La Rose Elementary. That will continue for at least another week. However, that issue has brought back to light the need for upgrades and new buildings for Memphis Shelby County Schools. Brittany Moncrie spoke with county leaders about why those needs have not been addressed just yet. So, Brittany, what did officials have to tell you? Well, Rudy, it's no easy task or decision. In fact, it's a matter of give and take. Shelby County government is working to figure out just how to get more funding to improve our schools. Everyone can agree. We got to make sure that more kids have a first rate learning environment and we can't let what happened in Cummins happen across the district. For some time now, Memphis Shelby County schools and county government have been trying to get additional funding for school upgrades and new buildings. I think we all know the issue. We know that there is over $500 million in deferred maintenance and it's about time we invest in it. So what's the hold up? Last year, the school district asked for an extra $55 million from county commission for building projects and maintenance. However, the commission only approved $22 million from its capital improvement budget. County Commissioner Van Turner says when it comes to decision making time, there's more than just the schools in emergency need. What ends up happening each year is that we are trying to, you know, figure out a way to fund the improvements and the needs of Regional 1 as well as those improvements and needs for the school system and it's just not enough money. Forcing the county to split funding. It's a tough call. You pin our, our young people against those who are in life and death situations and need the trauma unit at Regional 1. One solution is to appeal to state and federal government. There's a surplus at the state that we are aware of and we're hoping to tap into some of those funds. Then there's the option to raise county taxes, but the problem there is. So in order to get reven more revenue raised, you essentially have to have nine out of the 13 commissioners support that. And with a portion of county commissioners outside the city of Memphis. They've already had their taxes raised in the suburbs and they don't want the county taxes raised, but we need, you know, one or two or maybe three of their votes to raise revenue for our Shelby County schools. And Commissioner Turner said in order to even consider raising those taxes, that should actually be the last resort. And the question should actually be posed to residents as to what they want to do. Now, for now, Memphis Shelby County Schools is reviewing all school buildings that are older than 70 years old. And they say once they find their re or complete their review on the collapse at Cummings, they'll share their findings with families. In South Memphis, I'm Brittany Moncrease.